Uh, this is video problem, probability problem number 10 from Digital Dash University. Um, in this video and in the next um, three videos that follow, we're going to consider Bernoulli type probability problems. And especially in these videos now, we're going to be referring to uh, some of the results that we obtained in earlier videos that we posted uh, pertaining to different ways that we solve combination problems and permutation problems, especially when you have uh, permutations with repeats and how those relate to different types of combination problems. So if you hear us referring to those videos and if you're not familiar with them, if you go to the website at digital-university.org and click on the combinatorics and probability section, there you can access all of the uh, earlier videos. Now here in this video we want to consider the problem a coin is tossed nine times. If it's tossed nine times what is the probability of obtaining six heads? Of course if you, if you obtain six heads then by default you also have three tails. So you have a coin, we flip it nine times, what is the probability then of obtaining six heads? And before we solve this problem Let's first consider um, a simpler problem. Suppose that we had a coin and we just flipped it three times. And we say, asked ourselves, if we flip the coin three times, what's the probability of obtaining two heads? So here for this problem, we can think of task one, flip the coin, task two, flip the coin, task three, flip the coin. Now when we perform task one, there's two possible outcomes, heads or tails. And likewise, when we perform task two, that is flip the coin again, there's two possible outcomes. And we flip it the third time, there's two possible outcomes. Now we consider flipping it once, twice, three times in sequence like that, and we ask ourselves, what's the total number of possible outcomes by the uh, counting principle? That is, the number of ways of performing task T1 times the number of ways of performing task T2 times the number of ways of performing task T3. So that's just 2 cubed, or that's eight different possible outcomes that one can obtain when a coin is flipped eight times. And we're asking ourselves, um, what's the number, or what is the probability of obtaining two heads when, it, when the coin is flipped three times? And here, these are the eight different possible outcomes that can be obtained when a coin is flipped three times. And we see this problem is simple enough that we can just look at it and say, well, there's two heads. There's two heads. And there's two heads. Not here, not here, not here. That has three heads. So out of the eight possibilities when the coin is flipped three times, we see that there is three different ways of generating two heads to come up. It might happen on the first flip and the second flip, or it might happen on the first flip and the third flip, or it might happen on the second flip and the third flip. So the probability of having two heads come up is just the total, this is now the total number of ways of having three heads manifest itself, and that's just three, divided by all the possible outcomes, and that was two cubed or eight. So here, if a coin is flipped three times, the probability of having two heads come up is three out of eight. Now, for our problem, the coin was flipped nine times. So 
So the coin is flipped nine times. In this case then, the total number of all possible outcomes is not 2 to the third power, but now it is 2 to the ninth power. Now, when the coin is flipped nine times, we have to ask ourselves, what's the total number of ways of having six heads manifest? It might be that a head will turn up on the first flip, and maybe on all the successive ones, and then the last three flips are tails. That would be one way of having six heads manifest when the coin is flipped nine times. Or it might be that the first flip gives a tail, and then we might have a series of heads coming up like this, and then the last two flips are tails. That would be another way of six heads manifesting when the coin is flipped nine times. Um, or we could have heads, tails, and then a series of heads and tails. Well, the question becomes then, how many ways can we do this? And we know the answer to that. It's here we have a total of nine letters. These are repeated six times, and these are repeated three times. So how many permutations can we have with these letter groups? And of course, it's the factorial of the total number of letters divided by the repeats. H is repeated six times. Tail is repeated three times. So this expression right here tells us when the coin is flipped nine times, this tells us then the total number of ways that six heads can be generated with these nine flips. This tells us the total number of all possible outcomes. So the possibility or the probability of generating six heads when the coin is flipped nine times is equal to the number of ways that the six heads can manifest. That's this. Divided by the po divided by the number of all the possible outcomes. That's this. And that's the answer to our problem. Now, we might notice that this expression here, remember for the past videos, this is also equal to that binomial coefficient, and that is also a combination type phenomenon. And again, in the earlier videos, we discussed how permutations with repeats can be reinterpreted as combination type problems, mainly because of this type of phenomenon right here. Um, but again, we've covered that in the, in the earlier videos. Now what we want to talk about in the remainder of this video, we solve the problem. We want to consider is the nature of these Bernoulli type problems in general and try to write down a, a general formula that will cover all the Bernoulli problems. So. With a Bernoulli type um, problem, there's two outcomes, and typically they're designated as success or failure. And success or failure would be 1 minus s. For our problem, the success was you flip a coin and a head turns up. A failure is you flip a coin and a tail shows up. So for a Bernoulli problem, then, you, re you have identical trials that you keep repeating. In this case, it was just we kept re uh, flipping a coin. In other situations, it might be where you're on an assembly line and you're removing certain 
certain sample and you're checking that sample, is it a quality product, a success, or is it a defective product, a 1 minus S? Those are the two possibilities. Now, for our problem, remember we had, we wanted to know what was the probability of having six heads manifest. And we could consider it where, for example, we had, on the first flip was a success, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, and then the last three events were failures. Those were tails that showed up. One, two, three, four, five. Squeeze this in here. Six. One, two, three, four, five. Six heads, three failures, three tails. What's the probability of this event? Well, these, each time we flip a coin, it's an independent uh, trial, so all these events are independent, so the probability of this happening would be the probability of this, the success, times the probability of success, times the probability of success. So it would be the probability of success to the sixth power times the probability of failure cubed. Now that would then be the probability of when we have six successes in a row followed by three failures in a row. But what happens if, for example, the first one is a failure and then let's say the next six are successes One, two, three, four, five, six, followed by two more failures. Well, the probability of this event occurring is the same. We have this to the sixth power and this cubed. But we can have, and this is what we considered earlier here, um, what we have to do is think of all the different combinations we can have. For example, this is six heads. And three tails. But to get the probability for all the events, we had to consider all the permutations, or if there's repeats, the same as a combination, where we have. So, for our problem, then, the probability of six successes, that is six heads, that is equal to this, the number of trials that we perform. Actually, this is nine. Nine flips, nine trials. Six successes, six heads, times the probability of success to the sixth power times the probability of failure cubed. And this then was the formula for our problem. So we had to invoke this because each one of these expressions covers each one of a particular sequence, but we can have this many of these, this many combinations of all these possible sequences. So to get the pro total probability is the probability of each one of these times the number of ways that those can occur. So in general then, for a Bernoulli type um, probability problem, 
probability of success that is equal to the number of trials you performed and out of those number of trials you had X number of successes then you have the probability of success to the X power times the probability of failure designated as 1 minus S to the N minus X power. And then that is the general formula of a Bernoulli type probability. And again, in the next videos, we'll have several more examples where we kind of um, not totally derive the formula, at least give an intuitive sense as to why the formula works. So come back and join us for those videos. We have some where we're, that involve throwing dice. We have another video that involves a genetics type problem and another one where we're selecting multicolored balls out of a bucket. And they all manifest this Bernoulli type uh, uh, probability phenomenon. So come back and join us for those videos and let's see if we can solve some more problems.